ಅಖಂಡಮಂಡಲಾಕಾರಂ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಂ ಚರಾಚರ ತತ್ಪದಂ ದರ್ಶಿ ಪರಮಂದ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರು ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಮೂಲ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಪೂಜಾ ಮೂಲ ಗುರುಪದ ಮಂತ್ರ ಮೂಲ ಗುರುರ್ವಾಕ್ಯ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಕೃಪಾ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜೀ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಶಿವೋಹ tonight we are taking stanza 26 of chapter 5 that stanza is saying about brahma nirvanam kama krodha vyuktanam ಅಹ್ಮನಿರ್ವಾಣ ವರ್ತತೆ ವಿಧಿತ್ಮನ ಕಾಮಕ್ರೋಧ ವಿಯುಕ್ತ ಯತೇತ ಅವಿತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರ್ವಾಣ ವರ್ತತೆ ವಿಧಿತ್ಮನ ಕಾಮಕ್ರೋಧ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಯುಕ್ತ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ without any kama and without any krodha yata cheta sam it means conquered the chitta vidita atmanam it means knowing the supreme truth para brahma paramatma yatinam it means the supreme knower gyani yatinam it means for supreme knower gyanis amita it means in every dimension in every field brahma nirvanam it means extremely peaceful brahma sachidananda paramatma vartate it means uh, completely filled it means completely filled that was the worldly meaning of this stanza kama and krodhas when disappear forever and then you have conquer your chitta after it you will get the atma sakshatkara then you called yati you called no, supreme knower you called gyani when then 
when you are a jnani in every dimension and everywhere you feel the supreme extreme peacefulness and you feel the brahma everywhere that is the worldly meaning of this stage sadguru sachidananda parmatma the only and only master owner of uncountable billions of galaxies and only stellation and base of all these galaxies he comes by the mercy of his seekers and lovers krishna come for the seekers of this world and it is called avatar and he put the supreme knowledge of brahma vidya in the form of the stanza of the gita so we can easily take the benefit of this supreme knowledge of existence and knowing and get liberation he chosen the medium for this gita his nearest and dearest disciple arjuna in this stanza the master krishna is saying in the next stage of brahma vidya and giving the dimensional and direction to seek us like you he is saying that something is coming simultaneously one thing is come that another thing will surely come if a person become young his body appear some changes if the sun arise the surely light will come if the raining is there the water will come on earth if there is a storm the wind speed will be high so these are the essentially simultaneously so the krishna is saying in this stanza if your meditation is mature if your meditation stage is extreme so there must be nothing desire no kama kama is not only sex kama has a big and broad dimension and spectrum your every desires comes in kama if you want marry with any girl that is kama if you want build a mansion or the house that that is kama if you want to pass an examination that is kama anything you want that is the collective name is called kama if you have any anger if you are showing or not showing your anger that is anger if you have a patient to do any work that is anger if you have revengeful mind with another person that is anger so kama and krodha these are the phenomena and these are the forces and these are the showing outside of your energy it is comes from your divinity because this is the leak is in your tank of energy the kama and krodha 
This is the leakage and explosion. That is big explosion. Your energy becomes waste in the Kama and Krodha. So Krishna is saying, if you have no Kama, if you have no Krodha, simultaneously that stage is called Yata Chetasam. If you are Kama Krodha Vyuktana, you have nothing to Kama, nothing to Krodha, that you are now reaching in the stage of Yata Chetasam. It means your consciousness is going in the correct path. There is nothing to conquer. The conquer word is the word of immature person. You cannot conquer your Kama, you cannot conquer your Krodha. As you want to conquer the Kama and Krodha, they will be become more strong and more powerful. So you can detach from everything, you cannot conquer. So, Yat Chetasam, it means, when your consciousness is come in this stage, your every wasting energy, outside energy, your astroward energy, stop, and your energy, going introward in the center of your supreme knowledge of existence. That stage is called Yat Chetasam. Your consciousness is now awakening inside, not going outside in the foolishness of this world. So when a person do the meditation, his consciousness turn inside in the center of your immortality. That is the turning of your consciousness and your attitude to see inside by the Sakshi meditation and the real meditation after the Sakshi meditation and when you come in the is avastha, one stage and you awaken completely that is called Yata Chetasam. You are a enlightened person, you are awaken person, your consciousness your awareness is completely stand inside. You are aware a hundred percent. So, the Panditas and the only the book reader, they do not know. This is the knowledge of the experience in the extremely meditation so this stage is called Yata Chetasam. Viditatmanam. If you are consciousness completely aware, you are completely conscious, you are extremely knowing inside and your all energy is flowing outside to inside in the center of existence one day after some month or some year you will be know yourself you will be know the atma sakshatkara you will be know the extremely presence of your existence inside the god will be appear in you in the pure form of his presence in this universe that is called vidita atmana now you knows now you are knower now you are not doer. Now you are the you and existence not twos. You become one. That is called Viditatmana. When these three things come in your life, one thing, you are less than Kama and Krodha. Uh, you, you have nothing Kama and nothing Krodha. Second, you are completely aware. And third, you are enlightened person, the existence appears in you and you are the, you are in super enlightenment. Both these things come in your life, then you called Yati. 
Then you called Yati, you called the Jnani, you called the knower. So for the knower, the person they are living in this stage. So Krishna is saying, what will be come in your life everywhere, anywhere, when you are, when you are standing, when you are seeing, when you are feeling, everywhere you feel the Brahma, the God existence is covering you in everywhere and you are the standing in the supreme peace and supreme presence of the existence in and outside. So completely, absolutely, totally, you not feel only, but you actually transform it into the Brahma, God existence. The existence, God, Brahma, Sachinananda, it is not different thing, only one thing. And the Brahma Jnani and Yati and Tattva Veta, these are not different stages. These are the different name of one stage. That is called the Supreme Enlightenment. When your consciousness, unconsciousness, super consciousness, your Jagrata, your dream and your deep sleep, all are filled by this Brahma stage. Then you call Yati. I think this is the concentrated description of this stanza. Kamakrodh Yukta Nam Yati Nam Yati Chetasam Abhito Brahma Nirvanam Bartate Viditatma Atmana. If you want to become a Viditatmana, you are you want to supreme knower, you want to know the supreme existence, you want to know the extremely truth of this world, you should be do the meditation of awareness that is called Sakshi meditation. When you do the Sakshi meditation, there should be a guide, there should be a structure, there should be a person who can coach you, who can support you, who can give you the courage, who can, when you are, your mind doing with you some negative thing and he want to fall on you, Again in this illusion, he can pick up you. So that is called the Master Sadguru. So my dear friends, if you are a intel, if you are a seeker, or you love the divinity, and you want the spiritual truth, this concentrate destruction of the stanza is sufficient for you. God bless you. My divine love and blessings with you. My guidance and support with you. I am calling you. If you are a real seeker, I want welcome you in my meditation practices. Thank you very much.